Hello? Hey, hey, babe. I heard the news that a girl contacted us. Yeah, we are our first girl coming to the center. She is 17 years old. Her name is Pamela. Her um, boyfriend is 25. He wants her to get an abortion, and along with her dad, really pushing her to get an abortion. So she is standing up to the conflict, doesn't feel like it's right, and she's going to keep the baby. That is so awesome. She had a really good yeah, we had a really good meeting with her. She was really brave. She came in all by herself, found out where we are, and met with us. Awesome. So we were really excited of our first girl, first girl come in. Awesome. Can't wait till we have a baby shower for her. So Robin Waters, who was a missionary with us for two years in Peru, uh, found out about our uh, clinic and said, hey, I've got a ultrasound machine that I can donate to you. So she gave us this machine that knew cost twelve to $14,000. Um, she gave it to us. I fit it into three suitcases and brought it down on the airplane. I was very nervous about going through customs because who knows if they would try to charge me thousands of dollars of taxes or or confiscate it or what. And I was just praying that God would get me through um, immigration last night and customs. And as I'm going through the line, I'm just praying God put me through the line where I'm not gonna even get scanned. And I saw one lady that wasn't even watching her monitor. I went over there, I just stood in line and planted myself even though it would have been quicker to go somewhere else. And she waved me through. Everybody else had to scan their backs, but she waved me through. after Ready bringing it in suitcases without any decent protection. Yes, it is. From Boise, Idaho, to Los Angeles, to Atlanta, to Quito. Oh, I'm glad you had to bring it. And the best part me. is, I didn't need any of this junk. And there's only like five or six parts left over. This is para tomar la medida. The measurements. Within Ardeo Global, we have our church plant in Quito, Ecuador. Um, what we call an arm of our church plant is the Centro de Esperanza para la Maternidad, which is the center of hope for maternity. For when, and our goal and our focus is just trying to find women who need help. If they're pregnant or if they're post-abortive, in any um, stage, we're open to receive women because we love women. Maybe they're carrying a secret burden um, that they haven't been able to tell anyone about. We just received a message last week from a woman who's exactly in that situation. She had an abortion a year ago and she left me a message and we've been communicating and she told me, she's like, I haven't told anyone about this. I know, God knows, and now you know, Jill. Together we formed a, a group of about six women, um, myself, and Pastora Romina, who's the pastor's wife and the pastora of our Quito church plant, and the two American 4040s, Anna and Amanda, 
And then we have a local doctor who's a friend of mine and she has come on board and has helped us in a lot of ways. And then we have another local gal, her name is Marcella, and she's gonna help us with promotion, giving some more interviews and getting the word out. So we just, oh, and also Liz. Liz is a member of our church. Um, she, we met her actually in Ibarra at one of our um, church plants there. Our ultimate goal, of course, is to prevent abortions and um, reach out to women, whether young or middle-aged, in their 20s or 30s, doesn't matter if they're in a crisis pregnancy situation. We'd love them for them to come in here, confirm their pregnancy. We have um, urine pregnancy tests that we can provide for them for free. That's one thing that we offer. This whole idea began when Michelle Reimer came down to Ecuador last summer. She came and provided some training, left a whole suitcase full of resources for us to get started. She left pregnancy tests, um, baby clothing, and just written materials as well that we need, intake forms, things to help us get to know and interview women. And she just has a heart for the Lord and a heart for babies and a heart for women. And she works at the Clear Choice Clinic in Montana. And we are very thankful for her for just jumpstarting this whole um, center that we have. We had a woman come in and she's in a crisis situation, not knowing what to do with her baby. We know that she's receiving so many messages. There's messages from her parents, from her family members, from her friends that having this baby could potentially ruin her life. Unfortunately, that's a cultural message that I think is really prominent out in the world. And so our message to her would be, no, this is not the end of your life. This is a new stage perhaps. Um, but we'd want to give her resources so that she can make the very best decision for herself and for her baby and be able to do that with her own conscience. And we also want to provide support to her so that she really feels like she has a place to go um, and another family to support her. Our goal would be to get her involved in our local church and have them come alongside of her as family as well.